This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2023 Chrysler Nationals in Carlisle. Check out some of the large Chryslers. This is a little town country, 77. Just, oh gosh, these are such boats. Look at the way how they, I did that with the skirt. Wow. Upmarket family cruiser. Just beautiful. This is great. You see where how that's done. You know, the fit and finish just was not there. It's insane. But can you imagine climbing into that back seat over there? Wow. Have a 1980 Valario wagon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never had one of those. You had the Fifth Avenue, so you got to drive those a little bit. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. That is great. How long have you owned it? Not long, about six months. Yeah. Uh, what got you into wagons? Well, this is, I was the youngest of five kids, and this is what my parents had growing up. Were, uh, nice, nice to meet you guys. All right, take, take care. Had these, uh, had these wagons. Uh, they had a few of them. The one that I got to drive when I became my age was a white 77, the dark brown interior, but... I and bet you couldn't wait to get rid of it. Well, my dad sold his in around 2000 for uh, $900, I believe. Uh -huh. he, he told me, he said, you know, someday this is going to be a collector car, and I didn't believe him. And here I am, 20-some years later, buying one. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, a little bit more than 900 bucks, yes, too. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> they are Another hot, zero on hot, the back, hot. essentially, you know? <laughs> oh, they are great. They are great. So have you started traveling with it yet? Not much. I haven't had a long so I haven't had a long time to do a lot of stuff too. I've done some of the basic stuff, some brakes and uh, fluids and whatnot. I still need to do some belts and hoses, but I do want to uh, take a few trips. The guy I bought it up off of even included a matching luggage uh, piece there in the middle. <laughs> oh, color, that's so. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someday me and the wife are going to have to go uh, maybe take it for a little short weekend trip and get a valet checked and have him carry the luggage to park this thing you know so oh i like that definitely you gotta get the right uh year outfits i definitely too. need to get some uh, some nice big collars and some bell bottoms and all that stuff yeah sure. <laughs> definitely look definitely. like a country rock star or something you know <laughs> this thing's great absolutely great congratulations well, thank you really cool i'm yeah, going to find one don't see i know well chrysler wagons were just forget about it you don't get them you just don't get them you know Plymouth Dodge yeah but Chrysler no they were expensive when they were new yeah they were more than the other offerings at the time for sure and then with the gas prices and everything else you know and these weren't treated as collector cars and so most of them either went the way of the scrap yard of the demo derby you know you just didn't yep. see a lot of them now well they got worked to death as oh, a yeah. uh, work uh, vehicle because I my dad had him, you know, with the big family. He was also a uh, 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 purchasing manager, so like he would take on business trips with other executives and stuff, and then trips to the lumber store to get four by eight sheets of plywood. He'd always have a trailer hooked up to it, going to the dump or get mulch or whatever. So I mean, it did it did everything. It know? was a wagon. Yep, and it did it comfortably with cold AC. You know, so. <laughs> that is great. Yeah. This is beautiful. I love the fender skirts too. Oh, Those yeah. are really, really nice touch. Nice touch. This is cool. What is your name? John. John, a pleasure, John. Yeah. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. You got it. Enjoy Thank the show. you. Oh yeah. Oh.